What's up, you guys? If y'all want, yeah, I got this shit early. Funny thing is, I want to give a shout out to Pretty Brown Eyes. Um, she went ahead and hooked me up. Crazy thing is, like, I had found the link and then I was checking, you know, checking all my de on my stat, all my social media updates and whatnot, and I actually saw that you know she went and you know sent the link to your boy. So I appreciate that. You know, like I said, it's nothing but love. Y'all want the link? Y'all need to be. Like, here's the thing: if y'all are not all, if y'all haven't liked my Facebook fan page. I know I'm all tough words for the moment. If y'all have not liked it, like it because when shit pop, I'm gonna spill the tea right there. So that's where y'all gotta go. Alright? It's one thing to be subscribed. It's another thing to sit here and just watch me for free. But it's another thing to get in on that tea. So I'm gonna be back and I'm about to hit y'all with this motherfucking reunion review on that right, ass. right quick. Let me say this right to blah, blah, blah. Let me say this to y'all. I'm talking tired for some reason today, y'all. Please forgive me. I'm going to give y'all the meat and taters, okay? That's all the fuck y'all finna give me now. I'm not finna give y'all motherfucking play by play. Why? Because I ain't got motherfucking time for that shit. A motherfucker got shit to do, okay? I I got shit to do. So y'all get meat and taters. Meaning, I'm going to just talk about the shit that popped off. If y'all want to know all of what the fuck happened, watch the motherfucking episode. So, um... Even though this really ain't important, O ain't there because uh, he on the road. He in April, which on some real shit, uh, I really don't give a fuck because they ain't give a shit this whole motherfucking season any motherfucking way. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, okay, so now let's see. We got we're talking about uh, Max and uh, <clears throat> yeah, we're talking about Bray. Come on, hell no, to the no, 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 hell to the no. Now, y'all already know who my boo is. All right, again, I'm working on the shirts, Team on these. Y'all let me know if y'all want a shirt. I'm Team Momo over y'all. Now, you know, they was talking about the whole Princess Tierra. Real don't care about all that shit. Ray, they don't really care about that. But, you know, they want to do the whole clap back thing. So they saying, you know, to, uh, you know, um, they played the clip. And pretty much uh, it was the whole, uh, what's that girl name? Princess saying to um, Tierra that, you know, with your fat ass, Ray don't want you. And in the confessional, you have Moniz saying uh, that, um, you know, he don't want your ass. Is no reason he didn't keep you locked up for two years or some shit like that. Now, that, now, given that, okay, now Princess gets to clap back. My whole thing is, you know, Mona, Mona, bitch, look, if you gonna do shit like this on some real, get in these motherfuckers' room to scrap the shit out. I don't know. I'm, I know some shit gonna go down. I'm just waiting to see who the fuck gonna do the shit. Okay, okay. But, Princess whole thing was just like I can't believe you said because you said that because you said I didn't have backbone this and the third which on some real shit up until this motherfucking season you didn't have a motherfucking backbone so you know again I'm signing with Moniz here sorry just saying and you know she Moniz was asked like why she said it and she was like well in the midst of that conversation she was saying something about me not being a good mother you know go take care of my child and Princess was just like, I didn't say that. And you know, you don't even have a roof over your head. Pretty much talk to me when you get a place. It's at that moment that you can see the crazy starting to come out of Moniz. And I think she said either B no or B N O, but that's her safe word. More or less, here's the thing. Shit, y'all need to understand about crazy folks. Shit, my ass is rolled up in it. When you feel yourself slipping, and when you feel that alternate fucking personality scratching at the door, trying to pop the fuck out, you when you know it and you are conscious of it, you will figure out ways to keep that motherfucker, you know, kind of closed in. So she gets up and walks away to give herself some time to calm the fuck down. Because y'all already know if y'all can see here's the thing. We seen all we seen the three crazy hoes. We done seen Princess, we done seen Brandon, we done seen Moniz. They we wanna do hashtags in the bottom first and foremost, in the bottom, let me know. Who team in general you own? And between Moniz, Princess, and uh, Brandy, I want you to put hashtag crazy and then put whoever the fuck you think is crazy out of there. So hashtag crazy Moniz, whoever y'all think. I'm just saying, because I think Moniz is the most crazy. And the fact that she had to physically remove herself to calm the fuck down just to come back. Yeah, she crazy. Now, uh, I think Rich is about to sit here and check right. I'm, I'm going to be right back. I'm, I'm about to be okay. here for this shit. Right. So here's the thing. So... Uh, Moniz walked away and you know Ray is sitting there talking about Moniz saying how you know when she feels that um she talk a lot of shit to people that she know you know she can fuck with but for those that she can't you know she just bow down 
Here's the thing. Oh, some real shit. I'm letting y'all know. I'm glad Rich Ass was there. Because I would I would have bow. I would have nut the fuck up right motherfucking quick. You feel what I'm saying? Because here's the thing. Rich is older than me. I'm younger than him. Ray is older than me. I don't know why the fuck he acting like he's younger. But Ray is older than me. My ass 28. I'll be 29. Uh, Yeah, in like 24 days. I'm just saying. I nut the fuck up. I'll give you some motherfucking reality TV. Cause, but Rich said it best. What, what, what we not going to do. How did he say it? Is, you know, we not going to condone bitch shit. And right now, here's the thing. Now, of course, you had Princess that made a motherfucking comment, right? But then you had Ray J that now Ray J want to sit here and talk about women's shit. See, that's what the fuck you fucking up, Ray. Let women talk about women's shit. You shut the fuck up. Okay, if you want to talk about that shit with your girl, that's pillow talk. We don't talk about that shit in motherfucking public, my dude. But, he said some shit. So, Rich was like, we ain't going to condone bitch shit. He wasn't referring to motherfucking princess, but he was talking to him. Just like, we not finna fucking do that. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, you got Ray want to get up and shit. And Rich kind of looking at him just like, nigga, you ain't finna do shit. Okay, because here's the thing that if Ray really wanted to do something, he would have had them hands. Think about the reunion, not of Love, love and Hip Hop Atlanta, not the last one, but the one before. When Jocelyn and Stevie was ready for them hands, it wasn't a whole lot of motherfucking talking. It was charging. We ain't about to fucking talk when they about to motherfucking charge. And that's how you know Ray ain't about shit. I'm just talking about some real shit. Y'all know I'm Team Monique, so y'all already know what the fuck this video finna be. Team Monique in this bitch, okay? But that's not the point, okay? That's not the point. But when he said this shit, and you know, he pretty much just said, you know, that, at, like, I'm Richie D, okay? I'm Richie, she gon' have. Even though I'm not fucking with her right now, she gon' have. And you know, when the whole no roof thing, T.L. was like, she got a roof. Rich even said what you not, and because Rich whole thing is this. It's one thing for the woman to say, but what you not finna do, you not finna sit here and lie on this piece of pussy right here. All Rich trying to do is just make sure that if he want to slide in and get his ass a motherfucking quickie, he can get his ass quick. But I get what he's saying and what the fuck he getting at. You feel what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure had Ray not said shit, Rich probably wouldn't have said nothing. We might have, but he probably wouldn't have said shit. You feel what I'm saying? And you know, Rich, Tierra, and Fizz verified she has a motherfucking place of her own. So I'm gonna have to ask for a princess to have an abundance of motherfucking seat, not several, but in the Okay, so now we got uh, Milan, uh, Miles, Miles' brother, uh, who is, what's, what's the girl's name? Um, fuck, I can't even think of it. What's what's long neck? Okay, long neck. Her brother and I don't know why the fuck Tierra's on the stage. So uh, Come on, hell no. uh yeah. Before I finish, y'all know I never saw it for Nikki ass, right? Okay, I, I just want to put that out there. That's one, two. By the way, it was making shit seem and seem like Moniz finna sit here and tag both Brandy and uh, Shonda. But by the looks of it, look like Sean and Brandon going for We gonna see. We gonna see. But I do feel that um Moni's gonna put hands on somebody. Princess might put, you know, it's we gonna have a fight now. And, it, and it's gonna be the women, but um, I'm here for it now. So they uh got Marla up there. I'm still trying to figure out why the fuck Tierra was on the stage, because this ain't got shit to do with her. We dealing with Fizz, Moniece, and them. And uh, you know, she thought it was okay to judge. Uh, rich off two particular P's and that is what he has professed being a creep squad and what is um, public knowledge in the media now it's one of those things where it's just like you know you can have your preconceived notions but it's one of those things where as if you come in on the attack with somebody on some real shit they finna come for your ass it's finna be you know what I'm saying like a motherfucking attitude and I'm not saying you know no, I am saying Marla to that mode to be sitting here playing a protective mama. Now it is one of those things where it's just like, look, she could have hit it out with the, I'm grown, she grown, you grown. But let me just say this: you fuck up my daughter, I got something for your ass. Enough to fucking be said. You know what I'm saying? It's like, people. Here's the thing, y'all. If y'all got children, at some point you gotta let them bust their motherfucking head. Okay. 
Okay, at some point you gotta let them bust their motherfucking. At some point you gotta see be like, no, you gotta go from like, don't touch the stove, don't touch the stove, it's hot, to just let their ass touch the motherfucking stove and maybe they gonna get the motherfucking point. Shit. What the fuck else I got? And Rich pretty much, you know, gave us some numbers talking about somebody talking about him and his child support, you know, the shade room and and everybody, you know, runs with what they hear and not digging. <laughs> Excuse me, I was about to belch and I ain't trying to sit here and belch on camera. I had to let that out softly. He pretty much said he paid $3,000 a week. You know what I'm saying? It's like, if you're going to throw some shit out there, you know, look into it. Now, because I talk about tabloids and trending topics, I ain't got time to, to sit here and look up receipts and shit. I'm just saying. But, um, now Moniz clarifies <clears throat> the discussion that she had with uh, Fizz, it was not, um, trying to get back with him and she had said multiple times i'm not trying to get back with you but her whole thing is that it's the first time that she has truly had time to mourn the relationship so her saying what if i didn't it was her truly dealing with the situation you feel what i'm saying and if y'all think about ryan right quick let's let's do a little jump um black in Crew chicago a little jump think about ryan and you know how he deals with issues right we can tie the similarity because again i have something coming with both of those individuals i hoard a lot of shit in i hold a lot of shit in so i may not always truly deal with an issue as quickly as i should and sometimes it's best for me to sh hold it in and shut the fuck down until i have time and i truly mean time to sit down and fucking digest everything so i think it was at that point that you know finally her past caught up with her or more or less she caught up with her past in this sprint and now she was just fucking dealing with it you know what i'm saying now that was her clarifying which i'm just like i right, cool it also real shit like so the conversation in essence should have never happened but at the same exact time i did not fucking see the harm and she asked a fucking question if i got it the motherfucking if happened but here's what we have to realize though a lot of shit is left on the cutting room floor so yes we can only talk about what we see but i'm just saying again team on these um what the fuck else we got so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay now rich is asked if nikki played a part in his decision and he said yes and fizz was asked about the shit and nikki whole thing is she was just like but didn't you say that he was looking for a way out what about the email? And I, I I got some shit for, you know, uh, plastique motherfucking ass. I got some shit for that ass. Because here, cause here's the thing. Fizz was trying to explain. <clears throat> and Nikki whole thing is, if you don't say something, I will. Because you are supposed to defend her because she is your baby's mama. Alright, now I'm gonna explain the situation and I got some shit to say. Cause I, I got some shit to say about uh you know uh plastic wear motherfucking ass, okay? I got some shit to say. Y'all already know. So this whole thing is he spoke with Rich and he and Rich talked about that conversation and you know Rich was just kinda, you know, just like discussing the matter in which that Fizz, you know, helps take care of uh Moniz. And there was not a whole lot of detail about the whole taking care thing. And apparently, because Rich didn't talk, but this is just Fizz explaining, and apparently, you know, his whole, uh, Rich whole thing is I'm trying to figure this out, and, you know, you might have given me a way out. And, you know, again, Nikki whole thing is, yeah, da 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 And <clears throat> Ray asked her, I just got one question. Why are you snitching on the homie? But here's my thing, number, okay, I, I got a couple things. Okay, I, I need to call a couple of people to the fucking carpet. First off is I need to call your ass to the car. But look, bruh, just because you fucking her don't mean you got to sit here and tell her every motherfucking thing that go on in your motherfucking life. You feel what I'm saying? See, you got you see his thing. You got boys. OK, well, maybe you got boys and or maybe you got some boys. I don't know what the fuck you got, but you could have easily went and talked to motherfucker tomorrow. Y'all like, dude. Let me tell you what old girl said, man. This bitch tripping over him, man. You know like, you could have fucking did that, but you go to Nikki on more than one occasion. You feel what I'm saying? And here's the thing. Y'all don't understand what the fuck pillow talk is. Neither one of y'all motherfuckers, the, the, the high-ass motherfucking bitch and the motherfucking plastic-ass bitch. Y'all don't fucking understand what the fuck pillow talk is. The shit stays in the fucking bedroom. And my thing is this, my dude. If she didn't ran her motherfucking mouth all rat D. 
about the fact that you sat here and told her about the conversation you had with her Moniz. Why the fuck do you think it was even okay and acceptable to sit here and tell her motherfucking conversation you had with Rich? My nigga, you stupid. One, two, even with that whole motherfucking thing. Better yet, I'm done with that simple ass, you know, auto queen ass, you know, good lotion, Johnson and Johnson, motherfucking ass Nick. Look, Nikki, you itching for a good ass woman. You itching. And it may not necessarily be from Moniz, which I hope it is. I hope Moniz sit here and lay hands on you in the names. But you deserve to get your motherfucking hands. Somebody put their hands on you. Because here's the thing, because Moniz almost struck you ass, and the fact that you sitting here. Talking about, well, if you don't defend her, I will. Because so now you want to sit here and stick up for justice. No. Let us not do that. Because what the fuck you doing is you know Monice will tag your ass. So you trying to sit here and, you know, let's lay the shit, cover your tracks. So if Monice finna put her hands on somebody, it's not going to be your ass. Again, just one, just, just one little swipe. And she gonna knock some shit out of play. That shit gonna shift like Tupperware in the motherfucking uh, cabin. Y'all know how when y'all trying to stuff Tupperware in the cabin, you hurry and close it, how the shit shift. That's how the fucking gonna be if Monique's punched that hoe. And the fact that you sitting here and you, you trying to tell a motherfucking pillow talking shit, you talking about some, what about the emails, what about the emails? And you was wrong. Now, back to fear, simple ass bro. When she said, what about the emails, my dude? If it was no fucking emails but a motherfucking conversation, you ain't have to say shit. You ain't have to say shit. <sighs> you know what? Is there anything else I need to say? Hell no. I so, Fizz, well, we got Fizz, uh, Kamaya, and uh, Nikki on stage. I guess talk about him. And you know his appetizer of the weeks and shit. No, 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 to the no. All right, and we reached the very, very end, and you know we got our uh, Moniz back on stage. Uh, Marla's actually in the uh, audience. I think Fizz is on stage too, but it really doesn't matter. But Moniz is being asked about parenting and everything, and you know I forget she was just I forget exactly what she was saying. But, you know, she was pretty much saying how, you know, Cameron is probably this and the third. And, you know, Brandy is like, you know, not, no one or nothing comes before your child. And you have Amber, you know, long neck, strong neck, Ed the horse ass motherfucker sitting here like, that's right, because I'm a single mother. And I'm looking at both of them just like, why the fuck y'all talking? You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't got shit to do with you. Now, now here's the thing. Ed the whores, I don't know why the fuck she talking. Because she don't look like she got motherfucking hands. Brandy, I think Brandy was waiting for the right time to pop the fuck off. Because she wants it with Moniz, but she don't want it. You feel what I'm saying? With Moniz, one. Number two, you know what I'm saying? She's trying to take Hazel's spot. She wants that coveted spot on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. That's the only reason why she's sitting here and being extra. And the fact that she was sitting here in her own part that I chose not to talk about, trying to sit here and, you know, have this line that she fucking rehearsed and stumbled over herself. Like, get the fuck out of here. So, you know, she, um, Moniz is trying to ignore him and shit. And, you know, Brandy, you know, is pretty much saying, like, I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking about in general. So, you know, Moniz was like, like, why the fuck you talking to me? And she was like, you know, you don't make excuses. And, you know, you just do what you do. And, and I, I get what she's saying. Which is like, you, as a mother or a father, you will sacrifice for your children. You don't do it for the hand claps. You don't do it for the applause. You do it because it's the right thing to do. But at the same exact time, who the fuck was talking to you? You feel what I'm saying? So, Okay any fucking way so that shit happened and next thing you know Shonda jumps in I think she's talking about some right right this that and third and it is at this point that Moniece is fucking pissed because she looking like I got three motherfucking bitches sitting here talking about my motherfucking issue in particular and she's trying to explain herself y'all know I'm defending my boo and she pretty much asked him, why the fuck are you and you and you talking, you know, talking to me? Because she was trying to tell the uh, host that, because, again, she's being asked, but she was just like, they're like, why are they talking? And then she addresses them, like, why are y'all talking to me? <clears throat> and, of course, shit get hype. We not finna see the fights and shit until next week. 
But it look like next week will be a motherfucking brawlathon. I'm going to be here for it. I hope y'all here for it. And if I get the shit early in advance, oh, we will have a good motherfucking time. So that's all I got, you guys. Hopefully you enjoy this. It's probably going to be up as the show is airing. Look at the time. But it is what it is, you guys. So that's all I got. Rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys back here next week. Peace.